from like the bottom, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Tony Draper, the way up there, he the manager for the clips, and you know what I'm saying? So if you saw me, I ain't got a little respect for, for more people, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they would be like, I'll be somebody first. Like, if I met him right now, I'm like, what's up, I'm changed, you know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. Couple weeks later, he'll look at me like, oh, who's that nigga in with? But then again, if I was Tony Draper, I'd be like, Tony Draper, like, oh, they don't listen, you know what I'm saying? And then the next week, I'd say, oh, that's the nigga that was with Tony Draper, you know what I'm saying? So basically, what I'm saying is, as an artist, would you respect me more as coming from something? You know, I feel like I need to come from something. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, would you, you say we were powers with Tony Draper and Squad House 2 or Break the Boys Out? The other mic. What other mic is? Honestly, it all boils back down to the presentation because, um, like you said, somebody, a person probably would respect you more, you know, if Tony Draper made that introduction. But then again, too, when Tony Draper not around, right. would you get that same look? So, you know, it would be best to start it out with yourself. You know, it'd be good to get that proper introduction by somebody, but still follow up on your own, you know, and, and, and grab your own relationship and your own uh, rapport with different people. Hey, on the cool, I'm gonna tell you something. Hot music is hot music. I mean, at the end of the day, you got a hot song, I don't care if you come from Waterloo. If your song is hot and it's got them girls grooving, we gonna jam it. Trust me, if we go in the club and I'm in the club and I put the song on, it's 11 o'clock. It's about 6 to 7 people, 6 to people in the club. I put that song on, I see 30 people dancing and them girls shaking their booty. Oh, this song gonna make on at 1 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? You just have to make your song. Don't go to your homeboys. Because if my homeboy's over, he gonna be like, yeah. I'm smoking this blood. Yeah, your stuff hot. Now, nah, I want to go to people I don't even know. I have no idea knowing. And they tell me my son's hot. And then another thing though, like this. If you go from over for one month, right? And then your song ain't hot. Don't get mad because your song is not on the radio. It takes time. It might take six months, it might take a year, but don't give up. A lot of people, they get, get in there and say, man, I can't get on 97.9 in the box. Okay, you got 90.3, you got KTSU, you got uh, Chia Fact and them on Wednesday. Go put your music on other outlets. It ain't really that important. It's not that important to get signed. You don't want to get signed, you want them to come sign you. Trust me, it ain't. Them deals, them deals that we got there. Waterloo, I'm going to Waterloo and fight that artist. We got a question right here. Hello, how y'all doing? Am I loud on the mic on? Okay, here we are. All right, y'all, y'all know who I am. I'm Lady, a real chance of love, too. Hi, uh, hello. Hey, why work for me? No, I don't. The mic is here. Hello, y'all, Lady. Okay, here we go. Hey y'all, like I was saying, oh, it's not working. Squat down, Lizzie. Oh, no, ma'am, not right now. You're going to do a performance later. Hold on. Okay. All right, y'all. Oh, like I was saying, I'm Lady from Real Chance Love 2. Shout out to Fight. She's doing a review right now. She's been my friend for a couple of years now. And I have a real ass question for about three people I know in the audience right now to the panelists. Um, okay, so this is a real question. And I was going to this position. Okay, say for instance, I'm a guy and I sacrificed a lot for my career. My whole life, my mama told me I couldn't rap. My dad told me I couldn't rap. Everybody I've ever known told me who I, can't, I couldn't rap except for my son. But all I know is that I've been sacrificing my jobs, my money, for my career. I went shopping to present myself to these people so that I could look decent. But at the same time, I don't have any money to offer you guys. And I know that you guys applauded the money thing earlier, but I came from a really, really, really hard place. What will it take for you guys to take me as an artist into consideration, I don't have any money, I don't have the appropriate attire, I'm not your style. What will it take for you to record me for free, to be my manager, and to listen to my music and say, yeah, you are the shit and you have potential? What will it take? Do you believe in your music? Yes, like I said, I think that's all I say. The good enough for everybody out there, we're in recession right now. Is that good enough for everybody? I have to ask that question. Yeah, believe, believe in your music. Yeah. It's about believe, if you believe, if you believe in your music, and you approach me seriously, 
not on no bullshit. Like if you approach me, you say, hey, look, this is what I have to offer because I've done pro bono work before. You know, like I, I've done that. If you believe in your music and I believe in your music and I believe in what you're presenting to me, I will work your album. 